and welcome to Community Reading Day at the Pembroke Pines Charter Elementary School East Campus. And uh, this is one day that, uh, uh, actually it's two days a year that I do this and it's the most enjoyable day of, of my year. Some things that we do are fun and some things are not as much fun. This is one of the great, great days for me. And so come and join us and see what the kids are doing. Good morning and welcome to Community Reading Day. Today we're at the Charter Elementary School East and reading to, I'm going to read to kindergarten kids. So this is my sixth year doing this wonderful thing. It's a beautiful day and, and with me are the principal, Sean Chance. Good morning, Mr. Chance. Good morning, good morning. And the ladies who put this together, you are? I'm Jill Berman. And hi, Jill. Margaret Illiman. And hi, Margaret. So tell us about Community Reading Day. Uh, community Reading Day is a great opportunity for students to uh, experience members of the community, uh, other principals, uh, parents, uh, getting involved and ex showing them how much fun reading can be. It's just a great opportunity for them to model it and see the importance of it in our lives. And uh, the kids really enjoy it and to get excited about it. And they just, I was wondering, who's coming to read to us today? For example, today, we have Mr. Bass from our central campus, who has a great opportunity for him to meet our fifth graders, and they get really excited about seeing their future principal read to them today. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Illiman and Ms. Berman. We're just really excited to um, get the kids to exposed to different kinds of literature, and it's nice for them to see that adults share a love for reading as much as the children do. So they've been very excited. Uh, we have an ongoing theme this year in the reading department, which is hats off to reading. So it's great that all the adults have, have joined in with us and are <laughs> taking their hats off for reading today. And we just wanted to really thank the parents and the community members who came in today to help us out. It's really important to us. Come to on, I have more fun than the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. I have fun. I have fun reading to them as well. Um, I know that I was always reading as a, as a child and my kids growing up always saw me with a book. And my kids are readers. But two boys and they there, I, neither one of them is ever without a book, and I think it's because they learned it from the time they were little kids at home. You know, the books were important. Well, I think it's important that as adults we model it for them, uh, because if they see us doing things like reading and other great things, they want to aspire to do the same things. Sure. So it's important for us to model, as you said, you model it for your children, I've modeled it for mine. We model it throughout the school, and once again, we let them see that within the community, reading is important. So let's go read to the kids. Let's All do right. it. This book was written by an adult for children, and all of the drawings were done by a woman who is 92 years old and does only children's drawings. So you would almost think that that's done by a teenager, right? Done by an, a much older woman. And the book is called Poetry and Me. So if you open it up to the first page, it says, Dear children, this book is for you. It's from our memories of school, zoos, hot dogs, puppies, feeling happy and feeling sad. Share it with us, and we hope that you will enjoy it. We turn the page, and it's the beach. You see all the kids on the beach with a sand castle? And it says, when I go to the beach, I love the sand. It's warm and it's crumbly and it feels so grand. The adorable children in this kindergarten class are being taught by <laughs> Miss Danville. And she might want to say a word about, look, look how cute these kids are. And they all want to be on television. They all want to be on television. But thank you for today, for coming and sharing the wonderful world of poetry with our students. 
You're very welcome. I, I love it. I, it's my favorite day of the year. I have a precious teddy bear I sleep with every night. I love him, though he's worn and very old. And when I sleep, I hug him and I hold him very tight. And, and I can't sleep unless he's there to hold. He's worn out, tired, and sometimes not too clean. He only has one eye and just one ear. He's the ugliest teddy bear that I have ever seen. But to me, he's very fine and very dear. This is a kindergarten class from the, the uh, Charter East campus. And, and the teacher is Miss Daniels of these adorable kindergarten kids who enjoyed the poetry reading. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm, I'm very happy to do it. I appreciate you taking the time out and coming here and reading with the children this morning. Community Reading Day is a very popular day. <laughs> it is. Pembroke Pines. Yes, it is. And the children really get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So yeah. it's Isn't that great? Day. It is, definitely. And that's whole purpose behind is we're trying to encourage the children to understand how important it is to read and everything. So, and they do. Yes. They do. If they see that adults like reading, maybe there's something to it. Exactly. You know. And so another Community Reading Day comes to an end for us. And we enjoyed it just the way we do every year. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you very much for joining us to see how it is in our charter schools.